Now we'll talk about dividing integers and specifically we mean dividing numbers that are both positive or negative numbers. And we have some rules to work with that are similar to the rules that we used when multiplying integers. A positive number divided by a positive number results in a positive number. And a positive number divided by a negative number results in a negative number. Now the key idea isn't to memorize these four rules. Again, you can think of the number of negative signs. Uh, here we have one positive number and one negative number. So one negative number gives us a negative result. The same thing happens here. We have a negative number divided by a positive number. One negative, that gives us a negative result. So this results in a negative number. and the last one a negative number divided by a negative number think of this as two negative numbers an even number of negative signs results in a positive number so rather than trying to memorize these four rules think of it again just like we did when multiplying think of the number of negative signs an even number of negative signs cancels out so you can state these four rules in a more concise manner. Dividing numbers with the same sign results in a positive number because if they, if they have the same sign they're either both positive or both negative so you have zero or two negative signs. And dividing numbers with opposite signs in that case one's positive and one is negative, a single negative sign. Dividing numbers with opposite signs results in a negative number. So here are some examples 15 divided by 3, both of those numbers are positive, the 15 and the 3, so the result is positive, and it's a positive 5. Negative 15 divided by negative 3, over here we have two negative numbers, so the result is again positive, positive 5. And in these two cases down at the bottom, we have one number is negative and another is positive, and it doesn't matter which one. Here the top one is negative and the top one is positive and the bottom one is negative. But in both both cases we have a negative and a positive together and the result is negative five for both of those. Now note that all of these are equivalent. We could have negative fifteen thirds, or we could have negative fifteen over the three, or we could have the fifteen over the negative three. In all three cases, we have a single negative sign, and that gets applied to our answer. All of these are the same, and they're all equal to negative 5. And note that all of these are the same. Here we have negative, negative 15 over 3, or negative 15 over negative 3, or negative 15 over negative 3. In all three cases, we have two negative signs and the two negative signs, an even number of negative signs, always ends up canceling out, leaving us with a positive result. So all of these are equal, and they're all equal to positive 5. And when a 0 is involved in the division, it doesn't really matter if we have a positive or a negative. 0 over anything is 0, so 0 divided by a negative number gives us a zero for a result. It doesn't matter if this number is positive or negative. And the same thing over here, negative 17 over zero. You can't divide by zero. We say this is undefined. Mathematically, division by zero is undefined. So it doesn't matter if this number is a positive or a negative number. So the same rules that apply to positive numbers, in this case, apply to negative numbers. Zero divided by any number is zero, and division by zero is undefined.